yo, what's happening, people? It's your boy Blaze here. Back to you with another one here for Venomous Reactions. And today, we got an interesting video here. And this is called Death Rebel, the fake band that ruined the WWE. Oh my god. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. Yo, yo, the internet's been having a field day with the whole Death Rebel inspired themes. And some is to go, oh, what if. Death Rebel produced the theme of, you know, Stone Cold or Triple H or The Rock or The Undertaker, Kane, Chris Jericho, and the list goes on and on. <laughs> and while some of it was funny, but imagine if they were really in charge of remixing some of the uh, iconic songs of the most iconic wrestlers. Oh, it, it, it will be a shit show. <laughs> I, I'm not going to hold you. So we're going to see what they're talking about in this one, man. The fake band that ruined the WWE known as Death Rebel. It's the title that's killing it for me. <laughs> Anyways, man, let's get into it, bro. Woo. Let's see theme Stan versus now. Love that thing. to pick with you what are we doing here why do you insist on creating straight up garbage all right, right, right <laughs> let me collect myself here for those of you who don't know Def Rebel is WWE's current in-house music producer so they're associated with themes for superstars as well as themes for PLEs perhaps even games me I'm not sure they they do it all oh and also they suck like, don't get me wrong, music is subjective right and up for interpretation but Def Rebel doesn't produce music they produce he ain't lying though, man, man. Yo, Def Rebel, uh, they had a few scoring hits when it comes to creating good wrestling themes. I mean, come on now, Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns in his current theme, bar none. Rhea Ripley, bar none. And Braun Breaker, bar none. But that's like a small percentage of it, but a major percentage of it is generic like this is something you would hear out of a out of a ps1 soundtrack <laughs> like crash bandicoot playstation one like come on death rebel my guys what are we doing here oh uh, uh <laughs> but i ain't gonna lie man he, he started up with some good points though i ain't gonna hold him juice audible abominations i implore you guys to do this because i had to listen to a couple of death rebel I don't songs. Blame you. listen to a lot of death rebel songs listen to them all side by side and see how many of them use between three and five of the exact same rhythms now of course the songs are all mixed and mastered in their own little unique ways to change them up a bit and trust me i don't claim to be a music expert of any kind but you don't have to be a music expert to hear clear as day that they're almost the exact same Please listen to these songs and tell me how many times you hear it. It's insane. So I was curious. Bro. I mean, that's true. I mean, majority of the songs is like pretty much the same tempo and the same. Uh, I would say, I would say beats, beats per minute. Like, uh, you can't think of anything else. Like, it's almost commonplace at this point. And. When it comes to wrestling themes, they're supposed to stand out. And with Death Rebel, there are very few occasions where they do that. Majority of the times, it's like, what the hell? I'm just saying. Right. I did a little digging into Death Rebel and I actually discovered what I think might be the reason that everything they produce is uh, bad. All right, you with me? You with me on this? All right, so Death Rebel doesn't exist. It's actually a pseudonym for the DJ DTP music group. Now this is important for a reason I'll get back mm -hmm. to later. So DJ DTP is headed up by this man, 
Doug Davis, son of music industry icon Clive Davis, and also a renowned oh. industry entertainment lawyer. So yeah, he's a nepo baby lawyer. He's basically got the worst combination of traits a human can have. But more than that, who actually makes Damn. the music that we're subjected to every week? Well, for that, we have two men to thank. I introduce to you Ali D. Theodore and Anthony Mirabella III, also known as Bella the Three. Uh, B I I I R uh, Tony. We're gonna go with Tony. We're gonna call him Tony. <laughs> he is an incredibly accomplished musician in his own right, whose career started in hip hop, even producing for people like Eric B and Ra Kim and Mary J Bly. And since 2002, mm. has built an extensive catalog of film and TV music contributions, and is even the third highest grossing executive music producer in film of all time, which is a pretty yeah. You have someone like Eric Eric B and Ra Kim and Mary J Blige under your belt. Yeah, you're pretty much accomplished, but the the fact that he is a part of the whole conglomerate of Death Rebel. <laughs> that that's the part that is funny. <laughs> I, it's just like damn, bro. I I I I don't know what to say, but let's continue on pretty crazy feat i gotta give him that for tony here it's a similar story though there was a lot less to dig up on him for his past but his most recent noteworthy contributions include music for both the super mario brothers film and into the spider-verse now look the mario Hmm. movie is cool and all but if any of you have seen the spider-verse movies you'd know they get music right over there so clearly these two know a thing or two about making a half decent song even if it's not the most artsy so why is 80 percent being generous of what they produce for WWE, the worst music on the planet. Well, I'll tell you what. Remember how I told you Def Rebel is actually just a pseudonym? Well, I did a little further digging into the deal between DJ DTP and WWE, and what I was able to find was that Def Rebel is a trademark owned not by them, but by WWE, and everything released under that name belongs entirely to them. Now, this alone would dilute the quality of production, as the company producing the music it would. has absolutely zero rights to it, and they've already been paid regardless of quality. But there's also a good old bit of corporate bureaucracy at play. I know, everybody's favourite subject. But after having a look at a of lot of course. Death Rebel's listed credits, you realise there's pretty much always a couple extra names thrown in there. Some of those extra credits are singers and rappers that collaborated with them on those specific projects but the rest are actually some of DJ DTP's attorneys because while being a music production company they also work as a legal firm specializing within the music industry and you think they would have been able to negotiate a better deal so yeah I don't know about you but I really wouldn't be producing my best work if I both one didn't own it and two had to credit a group of attorneys every time I produced a new track I don't see yeah all that just sounds pure insanity i mean i get the fact that wwe wanted to go a new direction as far as wrestling theme production is concerned but i i don't know like they could have just stuck with cfos in my opinion or hell bring back jim johnson like like he was the goat when it came to wrestling things being iconic you know, CFOs, they did that thing with the wrestling theme production too. You know, even though it was a matter of like copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste, but it 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 got it it was relatable to the character. But Death Rebel, I can't say that. Because it is beyond generic. <laughs> like like you can give someone like the Paul Steam music to go tonight, and that will sound better than what Death Rebel produced. I'm just saying. See these attorneys in FL Studio. I don't think these attorneys are at home grinding Ableton. So basically, I managed to come to the conclusion that Death Rebel or DJ DTP is the most artless company in music. I mean, they are a legal firm that makes pop music movie soundtracks and they credit the lawyers on every song. Of course they're garbage. You can't make up a more dystopian company than that. It's legitimately a wonder that any of their themes end up being good. And look, the other side to this is that the WWE seems to want to keep all their rights to their music. And in this case, it's a bit of a you get what you paid for situation. They want those Basically, super low yes. rates, and I guess they're just going to get lower quality music. And there has been a severe 
dip in quality since the days of Jim Johnson, since the days of even CFO Money. Hell, even when they were around, people were complaining. I said it. It could get much worse. So CFO Money, if you're seeing this, we're sorry. All right, that's enough from me, y'all. Like if you liked, sub if you like what we're doing here, and I'll catch you in the next one. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, man. He hit home on a lot. Like, he even, he even referenced the whole CFO's run with the uh, wrestling production, wrestling theme production, and, and even re referenced Jim Johnson. I mean, those two names alone stood out when it comes to like having good and also iconic themes. Now, Death Rebel, you know, they're trying their hand at it, and it's just not hitting about a good 80 percent of the time and like him like him that's me being generous like the low 20 percent yo oh, everybody is like on their feet because we know who's coming out but if you if you stick a well-known name with a generic theme it's like okay who the hell is this or why did they give him this theme why did they decide to go with this route? I mean, like the whole thing with uh, Carlito's new theme, that app. Uh, I get the fact that, I get the fact that Carlito wanted to change up a little bit, but uh, it, the bad app theme, it took time to grow on me. I'm just keeping it real. It took time to grow on me and it's, it's serviceable, but uh, it's not like a, you know, here's a Caribbean cool thing. I mean, I'm just saying from my viewpoint, but let me know what y'all thoughts are about this video here. Yo, the old boy hit home on this or what? Let the comment section have it. And as always, thank y'all for tuning in. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this one. And don't forget to tell your peoples across the globe. Come kick it with your boys this one good solid time. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to click that bell so you don't miss a video from the kid. You heard me. And please feel free to follow me on social media right up beyond the. And this is your boy Blaze here saying Chuck the Deuce. And I will see y'all in the next video. And I'm out.